oklahoma state university in okmulgee, oklahoma is a two-year technical college offering a wide selection of programs of study students come from countries around the world and from all fifty states to obtain associate of applied science degrees and a graduate performance guarantee the institution and its many industry partners have recognized today's need for highly trained technical experts who also have excellent communication skills and who understand the increased reliance on technology in daily communication tasks whether one's daily communication involves recording data precisely reading complex charts or manuals documenting technical operations explaining procedures involving colleagues in teamwork or handling customer service feeling comfortable with communicating is important programs of study have always stressed the need for communication skills however today to locate and critically process information a worker depends not only on reading writing and speaking skills but also on familiarity with electronically gathered and stored information from calculators and amp meters to robots and faxes from voicemail and modems to computers networks and the internet today's students must learn to navigate new information thoroughfares whether they work at a counter a desk an electronic console or a computer network in a shop office school or on a remote site osu okmulgee still has traditional classrooms and shop areas but it also offers opportunities for hands-on experience with technology both for the technical job and for communicating while on the job students work in teams with problem solving with industry partners and instructors in a variety of environments in the fall of 1991, OSU Okmulgee became the first higher education institution in the state to offer most of its writing classes in an integrated networked classroom environment. Since then, two additional classrooms called writing studios on campus have been added. The last one began operation in February of 1994 and allowed the communications faculty a chance to reflect on the writing studio experience. This is our new compressed video classroom, and I'm Kent Roberson, and I'm going to introduce you in a moment to Jerry Zink, who's our media technician and has been instrumental in getting this room put together. We're making this video for you to show us, to, to show you our school, and also to give us a chance to use this room as a production facility for the first time. So what you just saw was an opening from a video we made about our writing studios, which we'll talk a little bit more about. I'll switch you over now to Jerry, who's sitting in the classroom portion here, and he can tell you more about the classroom here. Hi, Ian. I'm Jerry Zink, the media technician, and uh, Ken's going to give you a little bit more of a tour in, in a moment about the classroom. But uh, we have the capabilities of playing VCR tapes, laser discs. Uh, we also will have a Elmo 3D camera uh, and also computer interface. The uh, another feature we have, our instructors will be able to record their classrooms uh, sessions at the time that they do it. Everything's at the console where Kent's at uh, to control all the equipment and uh, I'll give you back to Kent and nice meeting you. have to push the right buttons. Uh, now we're looking at the computer and this is a presentation done in Compel which uh, shows how we are using emerging technologies across campus. And we're going to switch out to some video here as we as we go through. Uh, of course we are a technical school and so all of these areas of technical knowledge, hands-on experience, instruction by practicing professionals, Practical applications of technology, computer literacy, and problem solving are very important in all of the courses that we deliver. We also work very hard at establishing a strong academic foundation, uh, and in large part this is due to our, our partnerships with industry and our close advisory processes that we use with business and industry. They have a great deal of input into our programs, and what we hear constantly from them is that the need for communication skills and teamwork skills are as important as the technical skills. And one of the things that we want to show you is how we do this even before students come to campus 
through uh, one of our very innovative programs, which is a summer manufacturing academy. And this is set up for students who are uh, in middle school and maybe the first year or so of high school. So let me see if I can press the right buttons here. Do you want a challenge for eight exciting days? Want to see how the industry designs, manufactures, and sells their product? Want to take part in designing and manufacturing your own product? Welcome to the Eight Day Manufacturing Summer Academy at OSU Okmulgee. Have you ever wondered what a manufacturer has to do to design a product? Have you ever wondered what takes place inside the manufacturer's facility? How do robots assist in the manufacturing process? Manufacturing Academy program started last year and this year we received a state grant and we have two summer manufacturing academies running this year and it serves students statewide as well as uh, serving students right here in the in the local uh, county area. What we'd like to show you now are some of the ways in which we are using different types of technology and the ways that we are using technology and also learning theory and teaching techniques to create our own vision of, of the emerging classroom. We do have a number of, of teachers and uh, classes that are involved with what is called total quality learning or TQM applied to education, but basically continuous improvement processes. We also have a number of classes where there is an, an infusion of multimedia. In some, in some cases, this is uh, dictated by the type of industry, for instance, in our visual communications field and in our business areas. And sometimes it has to do with the preference of the instructor to bring ideas across to students. And we'll show you some examples of those. We also have programs that we have authored that we have created collaboratively or by individual instructors sometimes to make uh, computer-based delivery that is interactive available to students. And we also have some instructors experience, uh, experienced with and experimenting with video enhanced learning where they're using video lectures and video homework. So we'll take a look at a few of these. This is a, a PowerPoint presentation which was created for our engineering graphics technology program. This is, I think, a good example of a good place to use multimedia. The concept is about drawing three-dimensional objects on a piece of paper where you have one dimension. And of course, this is what EGT and CAD CAM deal with all of the time. But the teacher here had created an animation using, I believe, 3D Studio to display a concept he found that students had difficulty with, which was if you draw this, can you imagine something that has 12 sides folding out into a single plane?
this was the first PowerPoint demonstration that that particular department tried. And as a result, several of the instructors began to use PowerPoint, some more than, than others. I think they also decided that creating animations for class was rather time consuming. We also, as I said, have some, class, some courses that we have developed materials for. We also do this quite a bit for our library and for our orientation services where we need to get a lot of information across. What we'll link to now is a program that was developed for uh, our English faculty for Composition two, where they're teaching research papers. As I mentioned, we have many classes where we have computer-based or computer-aided delivery. Sometimes this is um, particularly designed or authored by us to increase the interactivity of the learning. We also have networked classrooms, such as our writing studios. And of course, we also have computer-aided delivery that is textbook-based, as well as what we have that is customized. The screen here shows a couple of video captured images of our writing studios. Uh, this is where we teach all of our freshman composition courses and we have a very unique way of teaching technical writing where we have all of the classes networked together as a community called Nowhere Oklahoma. Students create their own businesses and do all of their business communication that would be needed to operate those businesses. We also incorporate teleconferencing, satellite downlinks into our instruction. This is a clip from a teleconference that was on Total Quality Learning by David Langford. As we've already shown you, we, we have the compressed video classroom here. And we also have the capability to take satellite delivery several places on campus. And we have a closed circuit delivery system uh, as well. We have instructors beginning to experiment with video capture, and that was a manufacturing clip that you saw. We also have instructors using video homework and video lectures. This is one of our pioneers in that field, Patsy Zink, who teaches medical terminology. And the screen here is from uh, We're Perfect presentations, which she uses to create the videos that then help students reinforce the spelling and the visualization of words, because of course medical terminology involves a lot of word knowledge. And then of course, we like to be able to visualize lots of things very quickly. So we have 15 centuries of the Madonna compressed into a nine second clip here in a morphing file, which unfortunately we didn't create. It's, this is found information, but it fits very well into courses such as art history and humanities. Well, I hope that this presentation along with the Super Weekend video, which was shot for different purposes and which gives you live footage of the campus, uh, gives you an idea of, of what we are about. And we do look forward to seeing you at the conference and to having a continued relationship. See you soon.